All right, well, here we go. Spawning at about the 2 o'clock position on Metalopolis, one of the oldest, best maps ever, is our Yellow Terran player from the team MVP. He needs to win this game to stay in the GSL. He is MVP SSC. StarCraft 2. That's the game we're watching right now, Moltrap. It's a pretty good game. Is that what this is called? That's, that's what it's called. Oh, okay. Now up at the 12 o'clock position, we have our Zerg player in the blue. Will he revive this match completely? Or not? TSA Revival. We'll have to wait and find out. StarCraft 2 for him as well. We won't have to wait very long. Now, Revival actually sent his Overlord in. He spotted the command center. And SC forgot to do the old trick where you send an SCV up to spot for the Overlord. Uh, so he doesn't yeah. know where Revival is, but Revival knows where he is. Yep. It's a very good thing to do. For those of you who might not uh, be familiar with what, what we're talking about, on maps like this, and this applies to like Shattered Temple as well, at I believe it's uh, like 9 or 10 supply, if you send a gather up towards that area, you can catch the Overlord coming towards your base and, and kind of find him if they're in close air positions. Hey, Doa. What's All that? that practice is going to come in handy because we are seeing the 11-11 racks from SC. Ah, I see. I see SC. He's doing it. You know what? If it's SC, SC. Yeah. It means SC twice. It's SC two times. SC two. Oh! There you go. That's so smart. <laughs> um, so he's right, going to be putting on a lot of pressure here. Yeah. Revival has gone for, I believe, the same thing as before where he went for 15 hatch, 14 pool. Yeah, now the TSL coach really stressed to me just how much Revival had practiced against this. So let's see if all this practice pays off. He does have a pool that's going to be up in time. And what he's been doing is keeping an eye on the gases with that Overlord. So he knows uh, that this is a possibility because he's seen that there's no gas taken by SC. This is such a strong map for 11-11 racks as well. A lot of SCVs. SCVs oh been my gosh, as well. it is not just 11-11. Oh it's an all-in. Yeah. Revival's going to have to pull a lot of drones here. I think you're right. Six Zerglings on the way, though. I think Revival's going to be okay. Look at that chasing away. He oh, he sees the SCVs now. Crawler down. Yeah, he's going to make a lot of Zerglings here. Is he going to be able to micro? Okay, he has to be careful with those drones. The Zerglings are almost out. The first couple are out. Six of them on the way. The drones getting a little bit aggressive there, but with the Zerglings out, oh, are no! they going to be able to do the damage? Wow, the Zerglings. Oh! I mean, the Marines hiding in that little corner created by that bunker. Yeah. Brilliant placement by SC. There's no way he can kill that bunker. I, know, I don't oh, know why man. he didn't get a spine crawler down when he realized this was an all in. But uh, there's a lot of Zerglings coming out now. Six more. It's going to be really tough to deal with this, though. Yeah. With the will. bunker completing. This is why this is so dangerous on this map. You can snuggle the bunker right up next to the ramp like that. Now, Revival's doing something good. He's trying to cut off reinforcements, but he doesn't really have enough Zergs. Zergling's dedicated to doing that right now, so he's just going to lose them all. Producing more right now. They do jump in the bunker. The nice thing with him is that it's going to be difficult to produce another bunker closer to the hatchery now, so Revival yeah. might be okay. In fact, yeah, it looks like SC is just going to abandon this. And he did lose a decent amount of mining time. Oh. He needs to prevent those He's not going to completely abandon it. All right. Not quite yet, I guess. Just wants to make sure those Marines are mobile. They have that bunker to fall back to. The Zerlings get trapped behind an SCV wall yep. and take a ton of damage from the Marines. Zerlings oh, coming from behind. from behind. Whoa, One he Marine stopped most in. of the Marines from getting in. Doesn't matter, though. Now that bunker is dead. And wow. He's going to try and recycle it, and he barely recycles it before it dies. And Revival has held the rush, and at the end of the day, they're about even in Harvesters. Yeah, not bad at all. Revival's going to be able to get the worker count. If SC decides to stop here, he's going to try to continue to make sure that there's no more reinforcement screens. He's going to be very, very careful. Revival has indeed practiced for this. I would agree. Oh, can he get up there? Oh, he does. the depot doesn't get up. Oh, that's big. All the SCVs getting pulled out of the main base there. Those oh, Revival's got a micro well, though. Yeah. And just Ooh. gets out. I think that was a little bit... I think that wasn't quite the best move to try and run up that ramp. I don't, I'm not sure why he was chasing so much in the first place. I mean, he well, was doing a lot of damage, but you gotta going try, up that ramp, he lost all the Zerglings, and now he has to actually be a little bit worried about a counterattack, which he wouldn't have if he kept those Zerglings. Yeah, it's, it's one of those tough situations. I mean, you feel like you got to try, but never and mind. There we go. It is all in time. 
SC's gonna try to win this one bit by bit style. And he sees it coming. Ten Zerglings and a Spine Curl are on the way. But he's making a command center? Wait, what? I am. I are confused. All right. Yeah, this he, is just kind of he's actually making decision, a command center. He's, he's like, like, all right, whatever. even if this fails, I'll have double mules and I'll <laughs> still be able to play an econ game. And will Revival be prepared for this? Is Spinecrawler going to need to be canceled? It was not. A lot of Zerglings are out. Oh, is he going to let him get a good position, though? Yeah, he may end up losing this cash rate. It's tough. Here come the Zerglings trying to get the surround. SC trying to micro. Too many oh. Marines there, I think. Are the Zerglings going to be able to take him out with the help of the drones? Doesn't look like it. Nice Marine micro by SC. However... Very good micro. Uh, Most of the SCVs have been taken out, but there's just no Zerglings left. Yeah, no. He's desperately trying either. to produce as many as he can. If he gets a good position on that ramp, he'll be able to hold out pretty well as well. Going into the main. Oh, man. That's not a lot of drones to defend against this. There's so many Marines out right now. Six more Zerglings on the way for Revival. If he can kind of trap those units in his main, that'd actually be okay. Well, he's probably going to his, lose his main hatchery at this point. I guess so. Man, this is weird. This is a very strange, strange Still game. Still orbital command as well. Just relying on deals right now. Reproducing for CBC takes out the main. This game is actually crazy. Okay. This is pretty insane. And I think SC has it, to be honest with you, because now yeah. Revival's down to seven drones. So even though he only has 15 SCVs, it's double the harvesters, and he's got double mules dropping. It's going to be really difficult for Revival to win this game, unfortunately. Yeah. It's... wow. And I bet Revival's wishing he hadn't run his Zerglings up into the main and lost them now, because he, yeah, uh, he has very little chances of coming back in this game now. Especially without any gas, uh, got no drones to make to get any gas. He can't make banelings or anything like that. Here goes SC oh. trying to go down the ramp, trying to get some even more kills. It looks like he might he finally surround. lose these marines. Yes, he gets the surround, takes out the marines. Bunker is canceled, but again, you know he's down to just one hatchery. And SC is actually just going to attack with a fresh group of marines. Yeah, I think so. Oh, these Zerglings might get caught out in the open as well. That's not anywhere near enough Zerglings to take out these Marines. Taking out their anger on the wolf statue. Poor wolf. Yep, the statue got destroyed. The wolf was in StarCraft too long before they had the taste of Snartosis spots. Wasn't it? <laughs> and here comes those Marines coming in. He's trying to get some damage to some of these Queens from the high ground. Oh, I don't know. I don't uh, think it's, it's going to be enough, work. though. SC is just too good at micro. Yeah. Ugh. Well, can the Queen take out the Marines? I don't think so. Good transfuse keeping that one Queen alive for the moment. But look at that, another fresh batch of Marines. And this is what SC does. You know, he just likes to be relentless with these Marines. That wins him a lot of games like this one. And how about that MVP SC with kind of a crazy game three. Takes down TSL Revival. Wow. Man. Good choice to pull the SCVs at that point. Like you said, I mean, Revival did lose a lot of Zerglings going up the ramp like that. SC was like, hey, if I just pull everything right now, leave the mule, I'll be able to kind of keep rebuilding. I can win this game. Really Revival. good decision by SC. Yeah, very good decision indeed. Just knowing the power of having all those SCVs alongside. Yeah. And, uh, you know... He knew that with a couple of, a couple command centers dropping double mules, he could afford two racks pretty easily. That's even true. With no That's SCV, true. so he just went in with that. And I think Revival just underestimated the kind of push that was kind of going to come out as well. And he yeah. he never was able to get on his feet enough to get the economy enough to get a baneling nest mm -hmm. or speed. He actually never even got 100 gas in the entire game, so he could never get zergling speed either. He defended the 11-11 uh, very, very well, I thought. Yeah. Um, but then I, I think the, the big tipping point in that game was, like you said, when he ran those Zerglings up the ramp. Um, you know, it's kind of one of those decisions I felt like he kind of had to take it. He's like, well, if he doesn't plus CVs, I can maybe do some damage. But that ended up being the decision that gave MC, or not MC, he's later, <laughs> SC, that little edge that he needed to win that game. So Revival's going to have to try to requalify. And SC stays alive. He's not going to have yeah. to go back down to the depths of Code B. <laughs> nope. Um, yeah. yeah, how the mighty would have fallen if that had been the case. Yeah, no kidding. SC is one of those Terran players that's uh, getting 
Well, he, despite being in Code A, you know, he's one of those Terran players that uh, is starting to really make a name for himself right now. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, yeah, and, and he's definitely been one of the top Terran players, and I, I think he kind of has to get back into it because, like mm. I said, he hasn't been playing that well lately. He's actually lost most of his recent games yeah, I up until this the, point. The so he has to kind of... Yeah. yeah, taking some time off, so he's got to kind of reprove himself in a way. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so we're going to move on to Alicia versus Select after a five-minute break. So don't go anywhere. Come back in five minutes to root on the foreigner Select.